Now, moving forward, briefly, you'll see at each and every stage what then becomes the outputs of the stage. But the most important thing that we have to take cognizance of is this technology push and technology pull concept. Because um, I've had um, one speaker earlier on talking about how products developed from R&D are taking time to reach the market. And part of it is that most of R&D-led innovation does not come really from a direct demand or market pull. There will be an aspect of these could be the markets as we know them, but as you are developing the technology, no direct market pull that, that does it. So we, we'd like, from our point of view, we'd like to emphasize this, such that the things that are put in place, by the time you have developed them and put them in place, then you are not looking around for market. And that's where you find industry partners or and, um, SMME development comes in. Now, when you look at the stakeholders, this will be the area where we are at technology transfer offices, TVET colleges, we deal with them a lot, centers of excellence, centers of competence, science councils, the ones that I, I, I missed out here were the universities, pardon me for that, where really the knowledge development happens. Then, fast forward, move to the latter stages, you see there you have incubators and technology stations, and I see the... Um, the, the, the prototyping center uh, falling in, 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 in as one of these. I think next time when I do this presentation, I'll edit. You see accreditation labs, where now we are starting to move towards specific product development. But then who funds uh, or who does this whole work? You have inventors, you have technology develop developers, you have SMME and you have industry. Then the, the question then becomes, who does what at what stage? then let me problematize this whole area for you. What uh, we try to, can I just say, when, I, when this slide was done, it take me, took me two days. <laughs> because at some point I thought, you know, it's, it's this complicated. And, 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 and for me, it's really a true reflection of when you move towards commercialization or when you move from an idea to a product in the market, it's this complicated. So we have to take cognizance of that. And to think of the fact that when you look at this space, nine out of 10 times, it will be public um, institutions that act in this space. But when you are at that end, you are talking about private companies or SMMEs that are really driving who, the, the products into the market. And then this space then becomes a complication. I'm not going to explain everything on this slide, but I, I think you get a sense of what tentative needs to happen, their technical activities. When you look at them, is how you come with your proof of concept, how you really get it into a product right at the end. At the same time, as you are thinking of your proof of concept, you have to think, start thinking, what then, who, are then, who then becomes the market for whatever it is that you are thinking of? I, I'm, I'm thinking in particular when one does um, research in nanotechnology and you are dealing with gold nanoparticles, which could be used for diagnostics, can be used for you know, therapeutics. This is the time when you start looking at when, once you start um, getting to technology development, which markets are you going into? Venture assessment, are you going to sell this IP? Are you going to, is, are you doing it for a specific company, for instance? Because I, I, know, I understand, know and understand that in photonics, for instance, they are quite established companies, which um, as scientists, you might be then deriving new technologies or improving technologies for them, for their systems. Is that what you are trying to do here? Um, at what stage will you then dis decide um, whether to do that or not? So there's quite a number of things. But, okay, let me just move to the slide. Um, then, what you'll find that in, then in the commercialization environment, there's quite a number of things that are, uh, that are involved. And this is just a snapshot to try and summarize that uh, complicated slide. Innovation, where? Where is it coming from? What? Inter entrepreneurs, ideas to market, who's taking this idea into the, into the market? Market for products, what markets are we talking about? Capital, who's then funding the entire process or part of the process or stages in, in the commercialization steps? Service providers, as you are uh, negotiating IP uh, registration, IP transfer, all those kinds of things, you need um, skilled um, workers to then do that work. And in this 
when you talk about service providers as well, we do take notice that even the people who adjudicate on the applications that you submit through DTI, through IDC, CEDA, whoever, then you need you know, that um, uh, skilled uh, people or service providers to then do that for you. Quality environment, do we have the infrastructure we need to then be able to do these things? And what, what are the legal frameworks? I mean, you can, the list is, 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 is very long. You can put a number of things, I've, I left out policy there. What are the policy enabling things that um, become then pertinent to making sure that this commercialization space um, is